And police in Winter Garden say two shootings at a city park appear to be related, but they don't have enough evidence to say for certain. And today we found out officers have been called to Xander's Park for incidents like strong-armed robbery and battery just in this past year. Channel 9's Michael Lepardi live at the park tonight. Michael, you spent the day going through that list of calls. Greg, the list here doesn't tell us exactly what happened in all of those incidents, and some of the reports for these incidents are redacted, so we don't have all the details, but this does give us a better idea as to why police were called out here. The latest incident unfolding just behind me here, a shooting on Monday night that left two people injured. At Xander's Park today, we saw police and prayers. This small group huddled together under the same pavilion where two people were hurt in a drive-by shooting on Monday. The devil don't have no respectable place. He don't care where he be. Carrie Owens told me she frequented the park when she was younger and knows one of the victims, 45-year-old Sherman Ivy. He's a good person. He don't bother nobody. He's so quiet, quiet as a mouse. Today, a police spokesman said it appears Monday's shooting is related to another shooting here about a week earlier that left a teenager injured, but there's no solid evidence to say for sure. We obtained records from the police department showing officers have been called to the park in the past year for vandalism, shots fired, strong-arm robbery, theft, battery, a fight, and aggravated assault. We're going to do our best to make sure that we make sure the park's safe. Officers were easy to spot today and yesterday, and records show they've had their eye on the park in the past. The department logged 68 foot patrols over the past year, but the extra presence wasn't enough for some. I feel safe coming out here like in the morning, like daytime, but like at night, I'm gone. Seven o'clock, I'm gone. So far, police have not announced any arrests in a recent shooting, and a spokesman said not everyone is being cooperative. One of the shooting victims is now out of the hospital. I spoke with the mother of the other victim, Sherman Ivy. She told me he's still in critical condition, but he did open his eyes and acknowledge the doctor, and the family feels like that's a good sign. Greg? Michael, your, the records that you've seen show police have been to that park hundreds of times in this past year, even if just to patrol or speak to neighbors. Is, is that normal in Central Florida? Well, the short answer to that is yes, and we know that because we requested documents and reports from the city about two other parks, Maple Street and Chapin Station, and they also had similar numbers. You can see there's still an officer back here right now doing some of that stuff, just talking to people out here, but uh, the numbers show that the officers stopped by those other parks even more often if it was just to do like a security check or to talk to people. Now, I also reached out to City Hall today, and I spoke with the city manager late this afternoon. He told me besides these extra patrols, the city will be looking into the design to the park and see if they can make any sort of safety improvements. Reporting live in Winter Garden, Michael Lopardi, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.